Okay, so let, let's talk about it this way. The question is, why do we have resistance? Stock is moving up right now. I just mentioned that it will be very hard for NVIDIA to move over this area over here because it has previous resistance. Now, you all know and you all, I guess, learned about technical analysis and you know when there is such a behavior over here, then it should create resistance. Now, I said that before we had these four red candles. So it's likely that NVIDIA will start playing around here if at all move over this area. Maybe it will, maybe it not. it's not, but the safest point to go long would probably be over 301 once it's over most of the resistance over here. So why do we have resistance? The reason, the reason we have resistance is because of, let's call them disappointed buyers. Who are the disappointed buyers? Disappointed buyers are the, all of these people here who bought it at the first few minutes of the trading session. It all was somewhere before, I mean, until 9.47, so like uh, 27 minutes or so. First 27 minutes, we had a lot of buyers. Of course, for every buyer, we also had a, a, a seller, right? Now, let's just imagine the following. A person watched NVIDIA coming down strong today. And he kind of thinks that NVIDIA is going to move up. So he buys, he or she buys. And then it fails. Oh my God, thinks the buyer. I'm losing money again. And yes, he's losing money. But then it comes up again. Oh, fantastic. It's coming up again. And then it comes down. It crashes down miserably. Look at the way it crashed down. Now, how would you call this buyer? I would call him the disappointed buyer. This is a disappointed buyer who is normally not an experienced trader is a person who acts according to very clear rules. He does not sell when he's losing money. If you think the disappointed buyer is selling once the stock price is coming down, you're wrong. He just prays it's going to move up again. He maybe even buys some more as it, as it reached the lows because he's averaging down his losses. You know, the kind of thing that's, uh, yeah, I'll buy here. Maybe I'm, if it's going to move half way up, I'm going to get back to green. Please, please, please move up or stop smoking, whatever. So the disappointed buyers were a lot of them. You see, the reason is, I know there were a lot of disappointed buyers, is because there was a lot of volume during the first 17 minutes. Watch all of this volume at around this area, which happened over here. Watch the, I mean, uh, the volume of video right now is 14 million shares. And I think maybe 5 million shares were just traded over here. So there's a lot of disappointed buyers. The only way a disappointed buyer will move out of a trade, of course, not doing the right thing, because NVIDIA could have continued today several points down. And... These guys who bought it are extremely lucky now that NVIDIA is returning to the point where they bought it. So the majority of the volume was around this area here. And now NVIDIA is making its way back to this area. And the first thing these guys are doing, the disappointed buyers, is selling. Because the disappointed buyer will only sell once the stock reaches the point where he bought and failed. So they will not sell as it crashes down under the lows, but once it reaches back to the area, to the area where they bought it originally, that's the only way they will sell. So we've got a lot of disappointed buyers here who are right now selling. That's why Nvidia is having some hard time going up. So the question is, of course, how many of them are still there? How many of them are selling? What will happen once it moves over 301? But you could have expected this big pullback here and maybe another pullback right now i don't know short lesson that's it i hope you liked it and uh, if you did please give us a like that will really help our channel and help more people like you are interested in learning more about day trading and there's a subscribe button here you can subscribe to this channel and lots of links right here below thank you very much for watching see you next time